on this edition of the Fifth Estate, Jassy Sidhu's life was just beginning with dreams for the future and for love. She was just a really kind, sweet girl. But then she was murdered, her friends said, for marrying the wrong men. She told us that if her family found out that she was involved with him, that they would kill her. When she died, no one from your family went to claim her body. If, if, as you say, you had nothing to do with this, why did you just leave her there, thousands of miles from home? Now, intriguing reports that the man convicted of her murder in India may have somehow found his way to Canada. We have had information that he was living at this address. Oh, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. You, you don't know if he was living at this address? Have you seen uh, Darshan Singh? Jassy was killed, her throat was slit, and Me Too was hacked virtually to death, but he miraculously, he miraculously recovered. So that was the story. When, when we started, uh, the, the, the speculation, of course, was that it was a so-called honor killing. Um, the, the family refused to acknowledge that. The, 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 the mother who was ja the, Jassy's mother, who apparently was part of this plot, uh, claimed innocence. The uncle, who apparently was the head of the plot, claimed innocence. Subsequently, we started to do research, we went to India a couple of times at least, more than that, and found cell records, cell phone records. Actually, let me back up. Um, so, so in Canada, obviously, at a point, suspicion gets cast on the uncle, the patriarch, and on Jassy's mother, who was the matriarch of the family, and their possible role in what had happened thousands of kilometers away in India. When we started looking, several people had already been arrested in India, eventually were tried and convicted in, in the murder of Jassy and, and the wounding of her husband. The mother and uncle in Canada were charged with murder in India. But in Canada, the RCMP seemed to just take a hands-off approach. They said, well, this is an Indian problem. Uh, the, the Indians tried to extradite them at that point, but it was highly unlikely that Canadians were going to get extradited to India. And it just ceased to be a case. And we'd go back every few years and the RCMP changed its story but never took any action.